What is going on, Elevate family? My name is Steven, and today I just want to share a quick little devotion with you. Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about, you know, falling down, making mistakes, and failure of all sorts, and how that those things don't define you, and how those things aren't final. So real quick, let's jump into Jeremiah 8, 4 through 6, and it says, Jeremiah, tell them that the Lord says, when people fall down, don't they get up again? And when someone turns away, don't they come back? Then why have the people of Jerusalem turned away from me? Why do they always turn away? They keep on telling lies and they refuse to come back to me. Now I have listened carefully, but they do not say what is right. They refuse to turn away from their sins. None of them says, what have I done? Each of them goes their own way. They are like horses charging into battle. Now, I chose this verse because uh, the way God asked the question here in verse four, almost seems as if the concept of falling down and getting back up again is common law. You know, like in a, a football game, you get a nasty hit, you get back up. You know, in the work world, you lose your job, you go find another one. In our situation right now, you slip up on your fast, you know, you start again. And I love that because he implies that getting up is just a part of life, which it is. You know, it's something that you and I decide every day. But my favorite part is verse five. I'll read it again. It says, then why have the people of Jerusalem turned away from me? Why do they keep turning away? They keep telling lies. They refuse to come back to me. Now, I love that so much because I, feel, I really feel that you, you, you catch a glimpse of the Father's love. You know, that, that, that yearning of a father just looking for relationship with his children. In this case, the, the, the people of Jerusalem, but also with you and I. And then in verse six, he says, I listened carefully. And he waits for that moment of repentance. And in this situation, you know, with Jerusalem, there wasn't. But for you and I, there can. Now, all this being said, what's my point? I'm simply saying that failure is going to happen. God even says that in verse 4. He says, when you fall. See, he knows it's going to happen, but he's going to expect you to get back up. Now, I think it's funny because I'm sure all of us uh, probably are really good at failing. You know, uh, you know, just telling on myself there. But... Maybe there's some of you out there that, that don't know how to get back up. Well, it's easy, and I'm going to give you these three points, and they are assess, address, and achieve. Now, my first point, assess what happened. How did you get here? Investigate the damage done. My second, address. Don't just ignore what happened. Start to dig deep. Find out, you know, where everything went wrong. Set up resources, boundaries, building blocks, and tools to help not repeat the same thing. Now, achieve, and I love this. The definition of achieve is to successfully bring about or reach a desired objective, level, or result. Now the key word there is successfully. And with that, I want to show you this verse or uh, this, this uh, quote from Winston Churchill. And it says, success is stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. So Elevate Church 2021, let's not let failure trump our enthusiasm. Let's stand side by side. We're going to get through this. Let's fast. Let's pray. I love you guys. I'll see you later.